Alright, part two. I started a new game off camera just to play around see what to do so I wouldn't be spending hours on screen. And now, I figured out what to do. I didn't need to use a walkthrough or anything. I was just like, aha! So I was right about the graveyard, by the way. On my other playthrough, I've got... Well, not hugely far. I mean, I've got... I've made progress. Spent about an hour and a half on it, I think. Got this wobbly screen, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's the emulator or just the game. Ugh. Wobble, wobble, wobble. I don't even know if you can see that on the recording, but I can definitely notice it. Right, so you see this black, this square here that I didn't notice because I'm completely blind? And then, there was also something else I noticed. Uh, you see this little ridge here? The two are indeed connected. And it didn't actually take me that long to spot that on my, you know, off-camera playthrough. That's right, I can jump, can't I? Um, another thing I found out, buying magic is a complete waste of money. You pick it up for free in here just by killing these blobs. You get tons of it as well. You don't, and, not just that, it doesn't actually do much. Now, did I need to go south or through the door? I think I actually needed to go this way. I don't think I could get anywhere going that way. Be careful fighting these blob monsters. See, they have an invincibility frame, so you got to hit them and sort of move out of the way. But this game, ah, oh, done it again. I thought it was just one. Then. You get so much health drops. I oh, see. I just got some magic there. You get so many health drops that you're hardly ever going to die, and the thing's set to automatically replenish your health by default. This is easy. Just that doesn't hurt you, by the way. Just change it to face that way and push it towards the door, and it will open the door. I love how this game has like voice acting. Beat them! Just keep moving around in circles. You can use magic, but it really doesn't do that much at the moment. I think you can mix different magics together and they have more powerful effects, but I think that might use them up quicker as well. See? Automatic health replenishment. And you start the game with loads of it as well. Oh! Oh! One thing I haven't worked out yet is how to get enough money to buy a new sword. Because I don't think I've found any money in the game, and i played it for like an hour and a half. Unless you get it for every enemy defeat, and I don't realise, but... Start the game with 200 and all the weapons that he... They cost like a thousand, so there must be a place where you get tons of money for something. Yeah, this is tedious. I don't have a very good weapon. Magic does nothing right now. He's gonna die, and look at that! How cool is that? They literally get cut in half. It's a really good, you know, this is a Sega game. It's good music as well. Oh. More spells. What do you get out of that? A new key. Key one. That's why you go that way first. Can't get anywhere the other way without a key. You can get a little bit, but you have to come back here anyway. Let's just kill them again, they might drop some more food for me. I've got to remember to stand back when I hit things. The hitboxes are terrible. Oh! Well, I was saying I never get any money. That's the first time I've actually got any money. I played this game for ages yesterday. I didn't get anything like that. Now I'm getting loads of it. RNG! Random number generator. You can actually farm stuff like that. No, I don't want to go up the stairs, you... Oh.
that's not the door you open with the key, by the way. That's key two that opens that. I haven't got any food yet, I was getting crap times yesterday. Oh, the first boss, it just constantly drops food, like... You can't, I don't even think you can die fighting the first boss. It gives you that much food. Like, literally that, like every 10 seconds, it's just like, steak filler, steak filler. I, no matter how many times I got hit, I just kept refilling my health. I'm, I was practically invincible fighting that bugger. Right, I think it's this way next. I can go in that door, but I want to get this. These are easy to deal with. See, they don't go all the way down. You think, oh no, I've got to be quick. But they only drop a little bit and you can... Whoops. That was just me not pushing jump. You can still just wait for them to drop. If you try and do it too fast, you will fall off. I'm sure there's plenty of speedrunners who can just do it mega fast, but... And diagonal jumps as well, I bet you can do those. Maximum life, that's a life upgrade. Now I have one more little ball. Now, what was here? I probably didn't actually have to come this way. Ah, oh, yeah, you can go across there. You're supposed to, uh... land on these platforms. I think I'm supposed to go that way. Oh! You can just easily just run across the spikes. It doesn't do that much damage. See? Now, did I want to go that way or that way? Let's try this way. There's a full health refill somewhere. These things refill your health. And you see, as I said a minute ago, I've got a little bit of a life upgrade. One extra ball. Rescue him, so I did have to come this way. It certainly is. Full of demons and traps. Oh! Darn! Let's just refill my health a little bit. Plenty of those in the game as well, actually. They just make it a little bit too easy, I think. And watch! Alright, so we did that, we need to go backtrack. I have to go back this way anyway, I believe. You put that's as easy. This is like the first proper puzzle of the game, I think. I haven't done it wrong. What you do is you push that to the side there like that. This game is full of these little like block puzzles and stuff. Quite there's one that was a bit weird earlier with a bomb. Well, I say earlier, yesterday. Push that, that opens that purple door we walked past where we saved that guy. I don't know what these blocks are for. So how much magic we got? I just want to check. Not much. Not really enough to be useful in any way. Back this way. I wish I had a timer. Then I'd notice exactly how long I spent it. I have sort of an inbuilt timer in my head. I can roughly gauge how long 20 to 30 minutes is. I don't think we're there yet. That water is fine. You can go in there. These, you hit all four of these. A door opens here. You visit a cat and you can trade items for... What is it? You trade? Does it give you money? I think it gives you food. I'm not sure. There's a boss in the room to my left. I think this is a save room. Yeah, it's a save room. Which means I should save it. It says solve the riddle. It's just a cat with a load of fish and you can... I think you can... You give him stuff and he gives you stuff, but I can't remember what. It's not important anyway. Right, this boss is cool. So you jump on him... You jump on him like this and you just keep chopping until the eye bursts. These things drop crap tons of food. Try and stay out of the way, they hit quite hard. They probably drop nothing this time and I'll probably get killed. Just chop the eye until it bursts. Fire. I don't want fire. I want food. I'm going to get killed otherwise. It's a really easy boss, to be honest. Health. 60 points. See? I've got loads of fillets and steaks and stuff, so I'm fine. I wasn't actually exaggerating about the food drop. Look, he's dropping loads of health now. Yesterday they were dropping everything. Like... Oh, 
See, that's one. You gain chicken. That's one up there too. You gain filling. Told you I wasn't lying. You cannot die on this boss. It gives you too much bloody food as long as you just keep chopping at him. Unless you're a complete moron. Oh, careful! Does shoot fire. And that was a more difficult to evade pattern than yesterday. So I'm playing a harder game than I was off camera, it seems. I don't think you're actually supposed to be able to jump on him like this, but I do. Careful! Let's try and stab away those. Whoops! Health! 60 points! Oh, he's shooting fire again! He's doing this a lot more than he did yesterday as well. Ah, oh, he's over there. He says he's almost dead. He's gonna die soon. He's only got a tiny bit of health left. I'd like some more food. Not getting nearly as much as yesterday. Come on! You have one hit left. Roughly. He's dead. <laughs> Posing! Right, can I just see how much food I got left? Because I think I used. I got one steak, a bit of cheese, some wine, and a red potion. Okay. What is this thing? Oh, that's, that's the map behind the item screen telling you where I am. Gold 2.30, playtime 20 minutes. So I've got an in-game timer, I could use that. Anyway, we killed that, we didn't have much... F this should give me a bit more, shouldn't it? What's this? Oh, life upgrade. And there's something here too. I think you're supposed to jump on that platform. Easy. Sure, <laughs> he says. What's the point in these platforms being here if there's no like penalty for falling off? Like, I don't get fall damage. There's no spikes. Just put the thing on the damn ground. Okay. This is frustrating. Primitive isometric game where you can't get proper depth perception. Ah. There we go. The shadow should appear. Man! Come on, man! This is frustrating. That one, there. Right, this one. Okay. You gain key too, that's important. What was in here? Another chest. And an easy to avoid fire trap. Red potion. I don't know what that does. I would guess that it's a strength up. And I should have used it on that boss, maybe. Oh, look where we are. There was a gate there before. Come on, hit it. I could actually leave the dungeon and go buy some more food. I don't think I'll need it. Water, I don't know what that does. I think I replaced his magic or something. I don't know, maybe it's just like a health drop. Get out of the way of that door, I need to go through there. You gain bread. Okay, what's going on here? Those look dangerous. You can actually go in the water, it's fine. barely remember this bit. Oh, this is easy. Sorry, it was yesterday. You just keep hitting the wizard. I think the skeletons will just come back to life otherwise. They can barely even hit me. Oh, he does more damage than they do. i got to be careful because I don't have nearly as much food. Stop being dumb. He's nearly dead. 
And they just dropped over with him. And he drops money. Well, I do need money, but I'd rather have... That's nice. Bread. Bread's good. Okay, this does damage if it hits you, so try and stay within the gaps. Like, it'll just jump over it. Whatever. You don't need to kill this thing. Waste of time. Don't even bother. It just respawns if you go back in the room anyway. This is an explosive barrel. You need to push it off the edge towards that door. And you just need to hit it. Boom! Two. See, it's got a little timer on it. Bang! That took me two tries to work out before. Ah, now, which way did I have to go? Did I go... I think you had to go... This way, because there's a woman you need to rescue. Yeah. Thank you. Can't go in there yet. I don't know, what are you doing in a place like this? Selling yourself? This bit, uh, you ha this is a bit tricky. You see this block here prevents you from pushing the explosive barrel towards the door. So, you have to push it onto this platform. Then you push this block here, which raises the platform. And then you have to push the thing, like, diagonally onto that ledge. This can be tricky. At least that's how I did it. It took me a few tries to get right before. Okay, it's on that ledge. I just need to push it over the side. Just so I can... Okay, it's on that bloody platform now. I don't want it to be. Down there. There you go. Make sure it's next to the door, because I don't know what the hitbox is like. Get away from it, because it's quite a big explosion. There you go. Not too bad. Ah, this opens the door where that woman was. Cool. A door opens somewhere. Yeah, it can only be one door, can't it? Alright, what's in here? Ah, oh, this is frustrating. See, there's like a wind that blows. I need to kill these for more health. I'm not going to go up just yet. I don't want to get blown out the door, though. Come on, stop. I need to kill these things. You just wait for the wind to die down and you use the pillars to block you. That's annoying. I want that. Stop blowing me. That's what she said. Just try not to let the wind blow you into them. I'm killing them because I want money and food. Obviously. Go over here for a minute. The Mega Drive used this thing so much. Like, there's so many games that use this. I think there's one in Rise Star, Dynamite Heady, World of Illusion, Castle of Illusion, definitely. Quackshot, I think. Now what's in here? Is this a save point? I know the way I'm supposed to go is straight ahead. I can't remember what's in this door. The healing thing. Ah, it's just a bloody save point. That means the blobs will be back. Don't drop anything, do they? Rubbish. Another thing I don't like about this game, you don't seem to have any sort of level up thing. Like, there's no progression, apart from health upgrades. You can buy better swords and armor, I think, but... You don't get stronger, it's just... Oh, I want that! Stupid wind! I want that! There's money! There's not a lot of money, but it's money nonetheless. So I think I'm almost up to 20 minutes now. That's good. I'm almost up to where I got to yesterday, in fact. Oh, this puzzle sucks, man. I think after this puzzle I'll stop it, right. This is more difficult than it looks. You think, oh well, you just gotta push the bomb to the door. Well, if I push that bomb down here, I can't push it anymore. I can't push it from here because I'm above it. I can't push it down that way because I'm above it. You see? You have to use the blocks push the... To, so you have room to move the bomb. 
it's more difficult than it looks. So, obviously the first step is to push the bomb onto this step here. Now again, if I push the bomb any further that way, I'm not going to be able to move it. So what I want to do is push this block here, and push this down that way. Push it down that way. So now what do I do? I think if I've got the bomb on the block, you can just push the bomb, the block off. Ah, uh, if I push the block off there. Ah, uh, I can push the block. I don't know what that last block is for though. I think it's just to confuse you. Trick you into putting it in the wrong place. But yeah, that can be if you don't pay attention that bit can confuse you. I did have to stop and look yesterday to see if I Okay, let's just get past this stupid water area. You know, I'm not sure look, water doesn't hurt you. I don't know what it's for. I don't know why the water's there, it doesn't do anything. Okay, we're almost up to another point in the game. So we just get this is easy. So you can actually just push this around. The aim here is to push the block onto the platform, onto the thing. You can screw it up, but if you screw it up, just leave the room and go back in. It's not the end of the world. Okay, now you have to actually move the thing so the block. Careful, because you don't want the block to fall off. And just get back on the platform and just push the block. It's easy. Really easy puzzle. Whoa, it moves when you walk back. No, no, easy, right. I keep intending to stop. Alright, I just run through this room. No, oh, it is sealed. Okay. So don't run between those pillars. Alright, this seems like a good as any place to stop. Can I just check these two rooms a minute? One of them might be a save point. Barrels. I think this is where I got to yesterday, actually. Okay, good, a healing spot. Good place to stop playing. So exactly where I got to. Except I got here way faster this time, which is cool. And in the next part, we'll explore this new area of the dungeon. <laughs>